Well, well, well. Uh, been like two weeks since the last time I made my last video. Uh, I was lazy to put my computer up. I got two computers. I normally put do this these recordings on my my touch screen one. Then my other one is for like for gaming and stuff like that. Uh, follow me, Armani Viz, Twitch TV, and Armani Viz Kick. But anywho, you know, and, and most of this is coming off of like Twitter. Cause I like trolling the LeBron stands and LeBron sexuals. Uh, they really say that the Cavaliers super team, which Kevin Love said himself was a super team, wasn't. Uh, they wasn't going to be the 2017 Cavaliers. Now, <sighs> I have proof that um. There, this series was a lot closer than what people think. Now, a lot of the things I like to say is, oh, LeBron didn't have no help, or uh, they just ultimately give up the red, get, you know, waving the right the white flag versus this team, right? Now, you keep in mind, we can all agree that this Cavaliers team is better than that Houston Rockets team that took this same team to seven games. And, you know, some people say if Chris Paul wasn't there, they probably will win or whatever the case may be with that right so if that team which we can can we all agree that this cavaliers team was better than that rockets team and also both of these two teams in 2007 were pretty much one and two in damn near every category probably outside of like rebounder or something like that. i'll have to fact check that part but they're one and two on like field goal percentage three point percentage and fun fact uh, the 2017 Cavaliers was a higher three-point percentage as a team than this team. You know what I mean? Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving, they're not stuff in clay level, but they shit. You know what I mean? They're definitely elite three-point shooters. So, as you see on the screen here, this is the 2017 NBA Finals. Now, at the bottom of the screen, you get the total points per game, which is 114.8 to 121.6. So, they pretty much lost roughly to seven points a game right and if anybody remember this series it came down to the fourth quarter every time and my opinion they say lebron didn't have no help and well it wasn't too much help with that but they try to upplay the gold the golden state warriors team as if it was a super team which it was but they try to make it seem like this cavaliers team wasn't a super team either look at the competition that the cavaliers had in the east they didn't have no threats in the east obviously the warriors swept everybody in this shit outside of losing one game to the Cavaliers. So both of these teams were dominant in their own conference when it came to the playoff time. And as you see on your screen here, look at the numbers. Look at the numbers. Do this, do when you look at these numbers, right? And I'm not all the numbers, guy. I actually watched this series, and this series was actually close to what this gentleman sweep sweep is, is saying that it was. Now, the numbers show that um it was closer than what it was. Uh, it came down, if anybody remember this series, it came down to the stretch. They hit clutch shots, daggers, and stuff like that. Something that they lacked the year before when they couldn't close out no games, but you got to close it like Kevin Durant, which he did back-to-back -back years versus this team. It kind of helped them all out. And people like to hate and be like, oh, they had KD, a 73 team. 73 team that this super team beat the year before. Brian Average in a triple double with 33 points. Damn near 34 points a game. KD averaging 35 a game with eight rebounds of 5.4 assists. KD low key was cooking. Uh, Stuff averaging 28, 26.8. And, and Kyrie averaging 29.4. Damn near 30 points. Clay and Kevin Love is average. And Kevin Love gave you a double double, averaging the same as Clay. And J.R. Smith gave you the same as Draymond as far as like points. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, they when it came to rebounds, let's see the total rebounds. Yeah, they lost the rebound the department and they lost the assist the department, they lost in scoring. Okay. Um, stills were about the same and blocks were down anyway. So not only was this Cavalier team um a good scoring team, they were a solid defensive team, but they just didn't get stops when they needed to to um Get the W in this game. This was all about defense getting stopped. These were two high power offenses, two super teams versus two super teams. This was not a fucking super team versus an inferior team like these dumbasses like the 
uh, mislead and lie as if it wasn't. Both of these guys didn't really have no fucking bench. Uh, David West was washed and old at this time. Um, gave you four points. Strong Livingston, yeah, he had a mid-range shot. Look what Iggy was doing. This all came down to the start lineups. Y'all see it for yourselves here. It came down to the start lineups. You still had the best player on the court, which is LeBron James. You got the second best player, which is KD. You got Steph and Kyrie. Depending on how y'all want to look at it at that time. And on top of that, Kyrie was an all-star this year. I know these Brian stands like, like, oh, the year they won a chip, LeBron won it without. They try to do anything to devalue it. But has LeBron ever had a player that gave them damn near 30 points a game? So you can't sit over here and say this team wasn't a super team if you're basing it off of accolades. The hell with the accolades. Look at the play. Kyrie is damn near matching what in points what uh, LeBron is doing, what KD is doing. He's damn near gave y'all 30. But these people will make it seem like these Cavaliers, this Cavalier team had no chance versus this squad. If anybody watched this series, and I, you know, recommend watch the series. This was a highly competitive series. It was a super team versus a super team. Just the Cavaliers, although they were shooters, there was a great team defensive team. Um, that Cavaliers team, the, the, the Warriors team, excuse me, was a good defensive team. The Cavaliers was too, but that Cavaliers team didn't have good wings. They didn't have a good wing defender. You got Shumper and J.R. Smith being your best wing defender. And LeBron's a little bit overrated on defense. Let's be real here. He's a good help out defender. He's not a good on ball defender. Because if I'm LeBron, I'm sticking KD the whole game. And I think LeBron is great enough to give it to you on both sides. Pulse. You know what I'm saying? But these people will let it mislead you and make you think like, oh, there's no chance. Oh, he doesn't stand. Don't listen to the bullshit. This was a super team versus a super team. The better super team won because they got stops at the end, and the Warrior uh, the, and the Cavaliers wasn't able to get stops. That's what it came down to. It came down to defense. Both of these teams were high power offensive teams. Both of these teams could shoot. The Cavaliers, statistic wise, was a better three team three point shooting team than the Warriors in the regular season. Don't listen to the bull crap. Look at the facts and not just take the numbers. Take the numbers. And go watch this series for yourself. Because if you believe any of these guys on Twitter, they're going to run a bunch of bullshit on you. And it's just going to be a back and forth because they want to do anything to make LeBron have an excuse or not put any blame on him. I'm not saying this was his fault why they lost. But they do anything to try to um, make it feel like, oh, LeBron had no chance. But, you know, just, just go, though. But anyway, uh, like, follow, subscribe. More videos coming.